Here's innovation from Goyal that takes you further. New Goyal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Lubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Lubes. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Goal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Lubes have been expert. Welcome to the 2019 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. We are in the semi finals. Comfortably in the money zone. Proudly sponsored by GCB Bank. What this means is that each point scored is worth 10 Ghana CDs. 10 Ghana CDs. At the end of the contest, the total score, the final score, will be multiplied by 10 Ghana CDs and presented to the schools. A lot to work for. Thank you, GCB Bank, for that. This is the second semi-final contest, and it features Wesley Girls High School. <laughs> Tepa Senior High School. And our reigning champions, St. Peter's Senior High School. Let's meet the contestants. Tepa Senior High School. Tepa Senior High School is represented by Ousukwa team on our final year. Miss Maga Champion, final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you? We are fine. In the semi finals, we are reflecting on the 2019 NSMQ. What's your experience been like so far? Okay. So far, so good. We started our journey here from the qualifiers at Asante region. And we didn't know that we would come to this far, but because of the strength of God, we are here. All right, that's good. So this contest, what are we expecting? Okay, in this contest, the Lord God is still our strength. All right, I wish you well. Wesley Girls High School. <laughs> Wesley Girls High School is represented by Vera Sena Auti, final year. Dion Mante, final year. Last time I asked you about the frequency of the noise coming from your supporters. You didn't tell me. Have you figured it out? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we are reflecting. NSMQ 2019, what has it been like for you? 
it's been full of surprises. Yes, and it's very interesting. Okay, that's good. This contest, what are we expecting? The very best. I wish you well. Peter Senior High School. St. Peter's Senior High School. St. Peter's Senior High School is represented by Obey Michael. Finn Euron. You are welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? We are blessed, blessed mightly and highly All right. We are reflecting. NSMQ 2019, how has it been? It's been an interesting year. Interesting year. Yeah. All right. And this contest, what are we to expect? It is written in the scriptures. In the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. <laughs> and Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall bring to you today. For the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. the contestants. Apparently we have Egyptians among us. Well, before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adanse Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences, New Mongo Corp Ghana, and Intervarsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. It certainly is. My name is Elsie Fakoffman, and I'm honored to be your quiz mistress. Thank you.
Contestants, there are five rounds of competition. This first round is a round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, one bonus point. If not, there's a penalty, one point. For questions which require calculations, you have 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have 10 seconds to do so. All questions are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. I'll be starting with you, Tepa. <laughs> but before then, I have a preamble to all schools after which you require about 10 seconds of time. Preamble. Explain how the following differences between male and female gametes in humans adapt them to the process of fertilization. Explain how the following differences between male and female gametes in humans adapt them to the process of fertilization. All right, so now, Tepa. Male gametes have a higher mitochondrial level than female gametes. Quatin. Okay. The male gamete uh, is the motor gamete that I, I, I move from, I move to the, fertil I, the fallopian tube for fertilization. So it requires the mitochondria to get more energy so that it can give it the energy so that it can travel through to, from the, from a, uh, through, through the service to the fallopian tube. So you require the energy to be able to rate that place for fertilization to occur. In, in, so okay, so the, the mitochondria provide energy as uh, it moves along through, to the, through the service to the, um, the uh, fallopian tube where fertilization okay, so that uh, it will not die along the way. Two out of three. I'll tell you why later. Mm. All right. With the same preamble, St. Peter's. The male gametes possess acrosomes, but the female gametes lack acrosomes. Yes, Michael. The acrosome of the male gamete is to break down the cell wall of the female gamete for fertilization to occur. So the acrosome contains enzymes which are supposed to digest or dissolve the wall of the female egg cell or the female gamete before the nucleus of the sperm cell or the male gamete can fuse with the nucleus of the female gamete for fertilization to occur. Okay, two. Where's the girls? The size of the cytoplasm of female gametes is larger than that of the males. Dion. The size of the cytoplasm of the female gametes is larger than that of the male gametes because the male gametes is what penetrates the female gametes. And as such, the size needs to be smaller than that of the female gamete so that it will be able to penetrate and its nucleus will be able to fuse with the female nucleus. Also, many um, male gametes are released and only one is able to penetrate the female gametes for fertilization. And as such, the size of the cytoplasm of the male gametes needs to be less. And the zygote inherits most of its organelles from the female gametes. And as such, the female gametes cytoplasm is larger than that of the male gametes. I'm not accepting it. For a bonus. Bonus. Nobody wants the bonus. All right. So please remember what the preamble was. 
explain the differences between the male and female in humans that adapt them to the process of fertilization. There should be a part about the male and a part about the female. You went on and on about male, right? Which was right, of course. You explained and explained, but said nothing about the female. That's why you had to, right? So the female gametes are immobile. They don't need a high mitochondrial level. All right. Then when it came to you, same thing. Acrosome. Uh, yes, the males need that because they need to be able to uh, um, break down the outer membrane of the ovum. Does the ovum need anything like that? No, it doesn't. So it doesn't have. All right. And then when it came to you, yours was completely off track. The female gametes contain a larger cytoplasm to nourish the embryo. It's for nourishment, nourishment of the embryo. While the male gametes have a lower cytoplasm, which gives them lower weight to enhance swimming, makes it swimming easier for them. All right, next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. The intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon at 300 Kelvin is 1.5 times 10 raised to the power 16 per meter cubed. Did you get your preamble? The intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon at 300 Kelvin is 1.5 times 10 raised to the power 16 per meter cubed. All right, so now, TEPA. Find the minority carrier concentration in N-type silicon with a donor concentration of 1.5 times 10 raised to the power 23 per meter cubed. Yes, Bismarck. Mm, now we have 1.0 times 10 to the power 7 per meter cube. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> the right answer is 1.5 times 10 raised to the power 9 per meter cubed. St. Peter's. Find the whole concentration in P-type silicon with an electron concentration of 4.5 times 10 raised to the power 8 per meter cubed. Fenny. 3.0 times 10 power 22 per meter cubed. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 5.0 times 10 raised to the power 23 per meter cubed. Wesley Girls, with the same preamble. Find the minority carrier concentration in P type silicon with an acceptor concentration of 2.5 times 10 raised to the power 22 per meter cubed. Vera. 1.7 times 10 exponent 8. That's incorrect. <laughs> For a bonus. The right answer is 9.0 times 10 raised to the power 9 per meter cubed. Next set. 30 seconds with a preamble. Preamble to all schools. 
Find dy dx from the implicit equation. Find dy dx from the implicit equation. Tepa. x cubed plus 3x squared y minus y cubed is equal to 10. Yes, which of you? Penny. dy dx equals minus x squared minus 2xy all over x squared minus y squared. Yes. Your major question with the same preamble. X cubed minus 2xy plus 2y cubed is equal to 15. dy dx equals 2y minus 3x squared all over 6y squared minus 2x. Yes. With the same preamble. 2x cubed plus xy minus 3y squared is equal to 18. Yes, Vera. <coughs> dy dx is equal to minus 6x squared minus y all over x minus 6y. Yes. Okay, so for this next set, we are going to do something interesting. It's one question. I need two answers from you, but I'll get the first set of answers from you worth two points, and then I'll come back and get the second set worth one point. Okay, so it's one question. And every answer must be distinct, different from what has already been said. I hope you got that. Okay, so we are going around twice. Okay, so this is the question. An organic compound is found to have the molecular formula C4H7OBR. Each school is to give the systematic names of two of the isomeric butanols such that, one, the double bond is always terminal, two, the OH is never bonded to an sp2 carbon, and three, the BR and OH are not bonded to the same carbon in any compound. So, again, <laughs> all right, I will read it again. I will be coming around. I want different answers every time, so you need to pay attention to what other answers have been given. All right, so an organic compound is found to have the molecular formula C4H7OBR. Each school is to give the systematic names 
of two of the isomeric butanols such that, one, the double bond is always terminal. The OH is never bonded to an sp2 carbon, and the Br and OH are not bonded to the same carbon in any compound. So first round for two points each. Wesley girls, no, I'm starting with Tepa. Yes, Bismarck. Yeah, four bromo uh, butanol. No. St. Peter's. Yes, Fanny. Two bromo, three butanol. No. Yes, where's the girls? Dion. Two bromo, butene, one O. No. And I'm going around again. Tepa. This time for one point. Yes, Bismarck. We have three bromo, one Butana. No. St. Peter's. Yes, Fanny. Three bromo, three butane, two all. Yes. <laughs> Wesley girls. Yes, Dion. Two bromo butes four in one or no. All right, right, all right, all right, all right. So several of them, actually there were six of them. Two bromo three butan one all. 3 bromo 3 butan 1 all 4 bromo 3 butan 1 all 1 bromo 3 butan 2 all 3 bromo 3 butan 2 all that's the one i got from st peter's and then the last one was 4 bromo 3 butan 2 all are you sure you know this one oh all right. Next set, 10 seconds with a preamble to all schools. When I get to your school, I will give you a description. With respect to the nervous system or propagation of impulses, state to what the description I give you refers. I hope you got it. Good. So, uh, Tepa, a narrow junction across which a chemical signal passes from one neuron to the next, initiating a new electrical signal in the target cell. Kwati. Yeah, the synapse. Yes. A change in voltage of a cell membrane in response to a stimulus that results in transmission of an electrical signal unique to neurons and muscle fibers. Michael. Action potential. Yes. A change in a cell membrane potential from rest toward zero. Yes, Dion. Resting potential. No. For a bonus. Depolarization.
Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble. Preamble to all schools. At 20 degrees Celsius, the surface tension of soapy water is 0.035 Newton per meter, and its density is 998 kilogram per meter cubed. Did you get your preamble? Again. At 20 degrees Celsius, the surface tension of soapy water is 0.035 Newton per meter, and its density is 998 kilogram per meter cubed. Tepa. Find the gauge pressure in a soap bubble of radius 0.50 millimeter. Bismarck. Mm. Yes, Bismarck. Um, we have uh, 280 uh, Pascal. Yes. <laughs> With the same preamble. Find the radius of a soap bubble in which the gauge pressure is 700 Pascal. Fenny. 0 0.20 millimeters. Yes. With the same preamble, find the gauge pressure in a soap bubble of radius 0 0.28 millimeter. Vera. 100 Pascal. Pardon? 100 Pascal. Yes. Fanny. Yeah. 0 0.50 kilo Pascal. Yes. Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble. When I get to your school, I will give you some proportions. Solve for X and Y from the given proportions. Solve for X and Y from the given proportions. Tepa. The expression 3x minus y over 15 is equal to the expression y minus 6 over 10, and it's equal to 3 over 5. Yes, Fanny. X equals 7, Y equals 12. Yes.
your major question with the same preamble. The expression x plus y over 8 is equal to the expression x minus y plus 5 over 4 is equal to 1 fourth. Michael. X equals to minus one and y equals and sorry, x equals minus one and y is equal to three. Yes. With the same preamble. The expression x plus y minus 3 over 6 is equal to the expression x minus y plus 3 over 3, and this is equal to 2 over 3. Dion. X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to sorry, X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to negative 3. Yes, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. Next set, 10 seconds. Water and nonin, an organic liquid of boiling point 150 degrees, are not miscible. Explain why the two are not miscible. Okay, Madam, this is because in uh, water, uh, water is a polar solvent, and water, because the polar solvent is due to the OH bonds that are found between uh, uh, in, in the water molecules, and for fondonine, it is non-polar. So, and uh, because, because of the Van der Waals forces of attraction that exist between the uh, water molecules, so since uh, uh, nonin is a, a non, a non a polar solvent and a non-polar compound and water is a polar compound. Uh, they can't miss because uh, they, uh, when uh, uh, the, the nonin is added into water, uh, they, they cannot interact because of the non-polar side and the polar side and of nonin and polar side of water. I'm not accepting it for a bonus. All right. So the intermolecular force in pure water is intermolecular hydrogen bonding. For nonin to dissolve, the strong intermolecular force has to be replaced by induced dipole, induced dipole forces. This is not favorable thermodynamically, and so it will not dissolve, it will not mix. All right, St. Peter's. Explain why solid sodium chloride is very soluble in water. Okay. Yes, Fanny. This is due to the fact that the, the forces between the NaCl is ionic, which makes it a polar compound. And also, water is also a polar solvent. So the interaction of these two substances will create a hydration energy that is great enough to break the ionic bonds in the NECO. And also, it's a thermodynamically feasible reaction. So 
the hydration energy produced will be able to break down the ionic compounds and this will lead to the dissolution of the NaCl in the water. One. All right, so when sodium chloride dissolves, the water molecules and the chloride and sodium ions are separately held together by strong ion dipole forces. For example, the hydrogen atoms of the water are attracted to the chloride ions, right? The oxygen atoms are strongly attracted to the sodium ions. This is hydration energy. You mentioned hydration energy, but your explanation was not the best which is enough to overcome the lattice energy. So there's an energy associated with the lattice, that crystal structure, okay? And the attractive force between the oppositely, oppositely charged ions in solution. So a balance between the hydration energy and the lattice energy. All right, Wesley girls, excluding colloidal solutions, name three types of solution. Dion. Suspension. Suspension. Um, liquid solid solution and solid solid solution. So there is a solid solid solution which you mentioned, liquid solid solution you mentioned. You could have added gas gas solution, liquid liquid solution, or gas liquid solution. Ten seconds. Tepa. Why are root hairs important for plants? Bismarck. Um, Madam, this is because uh, root hairs uh, provides a large surface area so, so that uh, moisture or water in the soil can be absorbed and, and also nutrients can move uh, across the yes. soil. Water. St. Peter's. Why does chlorophyll look green? Michael. The green nature of chlorophyll enhances its absorption ability. That is, its ability to absorb whether the blue or the red wavelengths of the visible spectrum and repel the green wavelength since the blue and the red wavelength is what is needed for photosynthesis. So the green color of chlorophyll enhances its absorption abilities for photosynthesis to okay. That's a roundabout way. I'm giving you one. <laughs> I shouldn't have given at all. Okay, then somebody rang for a bonus. Yes, parting. Okay, it looks green because when white light falls on the leaves, um, uh, the spectrums have been that the blue and the red spectrum of the uh, uh, of the white light have been absorbed, and the green uh, component of the light is being reflected back up. So the uh, color of the green is, uh, is due to the fact that green component is being reflected, and the um, the white and, and other components of the colors are being absorbed. Yes, that's a better explanation. <laughs> Wesley girls. What does it mean to say photosystem 2 splits water? Mm. 
Dion. When light falls on the chlorophyll, the water The water um, is split into hydroxyl and H plus ions. And the energy, by the energy that is um, generated from photosystem too. We're born now. It simply means that water is oxidized to yield protons, electrons, and oxygen. <laughs> 30 seconds. Determine the work done by 5.0 mole of an ideal gas at 200 Kelvin in an isothermal expansion from a volume of 3.0 meter cubed to a volume of 12 meter cubed. Quarting. Okay, we have the the new volume to be equal to uh, the work done to be equal to 162 joules. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> the right hand side is 12 kilojoule. Saint Peter's. Determine the work done on the 5.0 mole of ideal gas at 200 Kelvin when it is recompressed isothermally from 12 meter cubed to 1.5 meter cubed. Michael. 263 kilojoules. That's incorrect. For bonus. The right answer is 17 kilojoules. Wesley Girls. The 5.0 mole of ideal gas at 200 Kelvin now expands isothermally from 1.5 meter cube to twice its original volume of 3.0 meter cubed. Find the work done by the gas. Dion. 4.5 kilojoules. That's incorrect. For well, a bonus. The right answer is 12 kilojoules. 
Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. A and B are events in a sample space S. A and B are events in a sample space S. Find P of A union B, given P of A is equal to 0 0.9 and P of B is equal to 0 0.6 and A and B are independent. This mark. We have 1.5. That's incorrect. Yes. Which of you? Vera. Go. 0 0.96. Yes. If you ring and you don't raise your hand, I can call either one of you. St. Peter's, with the same preamble. Find P of A union B, given P of A is equal to 0 0.9, P of B is equal to 0 0.6, and P of A intersection B is equal to 0 0.5. Fanny. One. Yes. With the same preamble. Find P of A intersection B, given that P of A is equal to 0 0.8, P of B is equal to 0 0.6, and P of A union B is equal to 0 0.9. Dion. 0 0.5. Yes. <laughs> Last set. 30 seconds. Exactly 10.0 centimeter cubed of dilute ethanoic acid solution are pipetted into about 40.0 centimeter cubed of deionized water and the solution titrated against 0 0.805 mole per decimeter cubed NaOH solution. If the titer is 18.0 centimeter cubed, Calculate the percentage composition mass to volume of the ethanoic acid. Atomic mass for oxygen is 16.0, carbon is 12.0, and hydrogen is 1.00. for a bonus. The right answer is 8.69. St. Peter's, a school bought a bottle of concentrated HCl labeled as 36.5% HCl by mass, that is weight per weight, weight to weight. If the density of the concentrated acid is 1.20 gram per centimeter cubed or 1.20 kilogram per decimeter cubed. Calculate the concentration of the acid in mole per decimeter cubed. Atomic mass for chlorine is 35.5.
for hydrogen it's 1.00 Fanny 12.0 mole per dm cube yes Last question. A student needs to prepare 500 centimeter cubed of 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cubed HCl solution from a 12.0 mole per decimeter cubed HCl solution. What volume of the concentrated acid must be diluted to 500 centimeter cubed? to give 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cubed HCl solution. Dion. 41.6 centimeters cube. That's incorrect. Can you? 4.17 centimeter cube. Yes. And that's the end of the first round. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums... The end of the fire. first round. Wesley Girls High School has 11 points. <laughs> Tepa Senior High School has 12 points. St. Peter Senior High School has 26 points. Four more rounds to go. Round two. This round is also known as the speed race. The questions in the round are directed to all three schools simultaneously. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, St. Peter's? 
Thank you. Yours, Wesley Girls. Thank you. And yours, Tepa. If you ring an answer correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. But be very careful because if you attempt to answer a question and you are unable to do so, you lose a precious point. For questions requiring calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have 10 seconds. Best wishes, everyone. First set, 30 seconds each. Find the magnitude of the linear momentum of a particle of mass 2.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 28 kilogram, moving with a speed of 1.8 times 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. Best mark. Um, yeah. 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 20 kilogram meter per second. That's incorrect. Yes, Dion. 20 kilogram. Okay. 4.5 times 10 exponent 20 kilogram meters per second. <sighs> yes. Fanny. 4.5 times 10 exponent negative 20 newton second. Yes. Negative 20. Next one. Find the lifetime of an unstable particle moving at 0 0.6 C, whose lifetime in its rest frame is 32 microseconds. Yes, which of you? This mark. 40 seconds. That's incorrect. Yes, Fanny. 40 microseconds. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Determine the work done by 5.0 mole of an ideal gas in an adiabatic process in which its volume changes from 3.00 meter cubed to 1.00 meter cubed and its pressure changes from 100 kilopascal to 200 kilopascal. The adiabatic constant of the gas is 1.40. The answer is 250 kilojoule. 10 seconds. Arrange the following to show plant succession that begins on a newly exposed rock surface. Forest stage, folios lichen stage, moss stage, shrub stage, crustose lichen stage.
Best mark. Um, we have uh, Christos liking stage, more stage, shrub stage, folio stage, and forest stage. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes. Wesley Girls. Vera. Christos liking stage, liking stage. I'm sorry, um, Christos liking stage, Folios liking stage, more stage, shrub stage, forest stage. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Why do smaller endothermic animals require more energy to maintain? Quartin. So, Madam, this is because uh, smaller endothermic animals have large surface area to volume ratio, and hence uh, the rate of metabolic rate activities in uh, their body is high, so they require that large surface uh, area to volume ratio to order to, uh, 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 in order to uh, uh, give off a much heat energy from their, for, uh, from their body to their uh, environment. Okay. <laughs> what is the primary function of the human respiratory system? Yes. Michael. Exchange of gases for digestion. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thirty seconds. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon if an exterior angle measures pi over 15 radians. Yes. Dion. Please, the number of sides is 12. That's incorrect. <laughs> Tepa. Quartin. We have the number of sides to be 30. Yes. <laughs> Next one. A fair coin is tossed once. Find the probability of obtaining an even number of heads. Michael. Zero. That's Zero. incorrect. Yes, uh, Bismarck. Half. Or yes. Whatever. Evaluate. Ten combination five. Yes. Fanny. Two ten. Pardon? Two ten. That's incorrect. Oh. Yes, Vera. Two hundred and sixty-six. No. All right. Which of you? Quartin. Okay, but um, we have it to be equal to 252. Yes. Next one. Ten seconds. The integrated form of a second order reaction involving a reactant A is as follows. One over A sub T is equal to KT plus one over A naught, where A naught and A sub T are the initial concentration and concentration at time t, respectively. Give an expression for the half-life. Yes, Fanny. The half-life equals 
1 over the, the original concentration of A, that is A naught, multiplying the, the decay constant. Okay. Next one. 30 seconds. Calculate the rate constant K of a second order reaction if it takes 40.0 seconds for the concentration to decrease from 2.00 mole per decimeter cubed to 1.00. Yes, Fendi. 0.025. Zero per second. That's incorrect. Someone else ran. Yes, uh, Wesley Girls. Go on. Zero point zero two five mole per dm cube per second. No. Yes, this map. Madam. The uh, decay constant is 0.0125 per mole dm cube per second. No. That's dm cube per mole second. One attempt, remember? Ah. Well. You were also to give the units of K. That's why I was very particular. It's part of the question. And the right answer is 0 0.0125 dm cube per mole second. Last one for the round. Last one. It is common knowledge that increasing the temperature of a reaction by 10 degrees Celsius increases the rate by a certain percentage. What is Fanny? It increases the rate by 10%. 10 That's incorrect. What is this percentage? Oh, so I guess it's not common knowledge after all. Okay, the percentage is 100%, so you can double the rate of a reaction by increasing the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius. Have you learned something today? Great. And that's the end of the speed race. Central University, we are not just giving theoretical knowledge, but also real-life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and natural environment. My name is Jay Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. The projects I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready.
there's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir. We have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond the GCB Bank, your bank for life. At Central University, we are not just giving theoretical knowledge, but also real life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and the natural environment. My name is Jay Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. The projects I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready. At the end of the second round, Wesley Girls High School has nine points. <laughs> Tepa Senior High School has 16 points. St. Peter Senior High School has 31 points. We are about to begin round three. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. The star is an award that goes to any school that is able to earn a perfect score of 10 points in this round. It has monetary value. It's worth 850 Ghana CDs to each of the team members, that is each of the three contestants and one teacher, making a total of 3,400 Ghana CDs. I hope you are motivated. Good. So the problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes to present your answer. One answer. One answer from your school. The problem of the day, as I have mentioned, is worth 10 points. Please put down your pens. And let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. The electron Compton wavelength, lambda c, depends only on the Planck constant H, the electron mass M, and the speed of light C. 
the wavelength shift delta lambda is equal to lambda minus lambda i in Compton scattering is given by delta lambda is equal to lambda c multiplied by the expression 1 minus cosine of theta, where theta is the scattering angle. A. Use dimensional analysis to obtain an expression for lambda c. B. Derive an expression for the ratio of the wavelength lambda of the scattered photon to the incident wavelength lambda i in Compton scattering. And C. Calculate the ratio of the wavelength of the backscattered photon to the wavelength of the photon scattered at 90 degrees in Compton scattering. Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin. Please stop writing and present your answers.
there's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. Ready. Contestants, please pick up your notepads and present your answers on our beautiful screens.
نفه نوندا پیچ Barely see this. Okay, I'll come back. Take your time. So that's the end. Okay. You just decided not to reproduce all the cancellations. You got tired. Eh? You are tired. You are tired of all the cancellation. <laughs> Still struggling, huh?
don't want to ask you to rewrite them. Mm. Please stop making those offensive comments. The contestants have presented their answers. Before I award the points, let's consider the suggested solution from the consultants. This is a problem from physics on Compton scattering. So the, elect uh, the electron Compton wavelength, lambda c, depends only on the Planck constant h, the electron mass m, and the speed of light c. And the wavelength shift delta lambda is equal to lambda minus lambda i in Compton scattering. And it's given by delta lambda is equal to lambda c multiplying the expression 1 minus cosine of theta, where theta is the scattering angle. First part, A, contestants were to use dimensional analysis to obtain an expression for lambda c. All right. So we know that the Planck's constant has dimensions of angular momentum. So the dimensions of lambda c will be equal to the dimensions of Planck's constant raised to some power, let's call it alpha, the dimensions of the mass raised to some power beta, and dimensions of c raised to some power delta. OK, if we do it this way, then L. L is equal to, and now I'm using the dimension, I'm doing the dimension analysis, so bear with me. So it's big L is equal to big L squared M multiplied by big T raised to the power negative 1, and all of this, these are the dimensions, right, of Planck's constant to the power alpha. M, big M, raised to the power beta, that's the dimensions of the mass. And then the dimensions of C will be big L T to the power negative 1, and then this dimension to the power delta. So we can rewrite this as big L to the power of the expression 2 alpha plus um, delta, big M to the power of the expression alpha plus beta, and big T to the power of the expression negative alpha, negative delta. Okay, so now let's look at this. We, are, we need to find out what this alpha, beta, and delta are so that we can go ahead and give the equation. So 2 alpha plus delta is equal to 1. Alpha plus beta is equal to 0. And negative alpha minus delta is equal to 0. We have a set of simultaneous equations to solve. And so uh, if we look at the first and the third of these equations, we will get alpha to be equal to 1 and delta to be equal to negative 1. So the second equation will give us beta, which is equal to negative 1. So now we are ready to write uh, our equation. And so lambda c is equal to Planck's constant divided by mass times c. Okay? Up to a dimensionless factor. We are not going to worry so much about that. It's actually is unity, so we won't worry about that. But this dimensional analysis has led us
to an equation for lambda c. If you go through all these four points, B, contestants were to derive an expression for the ratio of the wavelength lambda of the scattered photon to the incident wavelength lambda i in Compton scattering. Okay, so the wavelength shift formula gives lambda is equal to lambda i plus lambda c multiplying the expression 1 minus cosine of theta. So lambda over lambda i is equal to 1 plus lambda over lambda lambda c over lambda i multiplying the expression 1 minus cosine of theta. If you arrive at this three points. Finally, contestants were to calculate the ratio of the wavelength of the backscattered photon to the wavelength of the photon scattered at 90 degrees in Compton scattering. Okay, so for backscattering, theta is equal, to, is equal to pi. So the required ratio is going to be lambda pi over lambda pi over 2, right? 180 degrees backscattering and then 90 degrees pi over 2. That, that is where the ratio comes from. It's equal to and ex two expressions, numerator and denominator, right? On the numerator, I have lambda i plus lambda c multiplying 1 minus cosine of pi. And then in the denominator, I have lambda i plus lambda c multiplying the expression 1 minus cosine of pi over 2. We can actually substitute some values for these. Cosine of pi is negative 1 and cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So we'll wind up. This will now simplify to lambda i plus 2 lambda c all over the expression lambda i plus lambda c. If you are able to do this, you get three more points, making a total of 10 points. This is the suggested solution from the consultants. Now, contestants, um, St. Peter's. You started, you started, you actually set up the, to do the dimensional analysis. You set it up. So they initially looked like very, very hopeful. So uh, I'm going to give you one point for the setup. Then something went wrong because it became this really monstrous thing to, <laughs> to do. <laughs> You had difficulty getting the exponents. So you spent all the time. You were not willing to let go. You really were determined to kill the stand, but it was not dying. So you couldn't move on to the B. You didn't do the C. You spent all the time on there and didn't get far. So you have one point. You, you already knew this thing. You knew the formula. So instead of doing the dimensional analysis, you declared your stance. <laughs> First point, you put it down before even trying any dimensional analysis. And so uh, what you were doing was only window dressing. You, alre you already knew it, so you don't want to spend time on it. It wasn't a good enough effort at dimensional analysis. So I can't give you anything for A. But when you got to B, you were able to do this to a large extent, except that at the last point, you made it more complicated than it really needed to be. Eh? So I'm giving you two out of three for that. And that's about it. So you have two points. Wesley girls, you also didn't do a very serious, effort. you were not very serious about that dimensional analysis because I'm sure you knew this formula. Eh? So it was a half-hearted effort at dimensional analysis, but then the final relationship uh, between the terms, among the terms, is the right one. I'm only giving you one out of the four for that. One. Then when it came to B, the B, you were able to do that as expected. So that's three points. Uh, 
and that was the end of your success. So you have four points. Four points. That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Please pick up your notepads. Notepad. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond banking! GCB Bank, your bank for life. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people.
getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential, always listening always understanding here's innovation from goyle that takes you further new goal super synthetic 5w20 and 5w30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology highly advanced for modern engines prolongs oil change intervals Save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. At Central University, we are not just giving theoretical knowledge, but also real-life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real-life problems within our built and natural environment. My name is Che Joseph Bafo, an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. <laughs> The projects I'm working on recently. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, two four points. If not, there's our penalty. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm starting with you, St. Peter's. Distillation or crystallization can be used to separate an aqueous solution of sodium chloride into water and solid sodium chloride. Michael. True. Yes. A mixture of two liquids can always be separated by fractional distillation. Dion. False. Yes. In column chromatography, using alumina as the support, Separation of two substances depends solely on the relative extents to which the substances can be absorbed on the alumina. Yes, Bismarck. True. No, that's a false statement. <laughs> Steroid hormones are the only ones derived from cholesterol and are always characterized by a four-ring molecular structure. Michael? True. Yes. <laughs> Thyroid hormone is responsible for setting the basal metabolic rate of humans. Dion? True. Yes. A decrease in thyroid hormone causes an increase in thyroid stimulating hormone to stimulate the secretion of more thyroid hormone. Bismarck? True. Yes.
The thermal efficiency of a car no heat engine increases as the temperature difference between its hot and cold reservoirs decreases. Michael. True. No, that's a false statement. A Kano cycle is made up of two isotherms and two adiabats. Dion. Two. Yes. A heat engine operating on the Kano cycle absorbs heat along one isotherm and rejects heat along another isotherm. Bismarck. True. Yes. For the next set, I have a preamble to all schools. Preamble. The graph of the given curve is symmetric about the given line. The graph of the given curve is symmetric about the given line. St. Peter's. Y is equal to the expression X plus 2, the expression squared, about the line X is equal to negative 2. Michael. False. No. Y is equal to absolute value of X about the X axis. Dion. False. Yes. Y is equal to 1 over X about the line Y is equal to X. This mark. False. No. That's a true statement. For a covalent bond to be formed, there should always be two overlapping orbitals, each having an unpaired electron. Michael. False. False. Yes. For covalent bonds, the more equitable the sharing of the electron pair, the stronger the bond. Dion. Two. No. That's a false statement. In a dative covalent bond, the donor of the electron pair has a greater share of the electrons. Bismarck. False. Yes. <laughs> Analogous structures have the same function and the same ancestry. Michael. False. Yes. Analogous structures have the same ancestry, but may have different functions. Yes, Dion? False. Yes. <laughs> Analogous structures have different ancestry and different functions. This mark. 
False. Yes. A proton, a positively charged particle carrying one unit of the fundamental charge, is a fundamental particle. Michael. True. No. That's a false statement. A neutron is a neutral particle composed of charged subparticles that carry fractions of the fundamental charge. Dion? Two. Yes. <laughs> fundamental particles carry one unit of the fundamental charge and are either positively charged or negatively charged. Bismarck. False. Yes. <laughs> Last set of statements. St. Peter's. If 2 plus 3 is equal to 6, then 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 5. Michael. True. Yes. If 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16, then 4 plus 4 is equal to 7. Dion. False. Yes. Last statement. If sine of x is equal to half, then x is equal to pi over 4. This mark. False. Yes. And that's the end of the fourth round. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe and ready to take you places beyond the GCB Bank. At the end of the fourth round, Wesley Girls High School has 26 points. Tepa Senior High School has 28 points. St. Peter Senior High School has 39 points. Round 5. In this round, I'm going to be reading out clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third only clue thereafter, three points. In order to solve the riddle, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, St. Peter's? Thank you. Yours, Wesley Girls. Thank you. And yours, Tepa. When you ring, the answer must be ready. Best wishes to all schools. There are four riddles. First one. I am a ubiquitous physical quantity. I am truly cons I'm a truly conserved quantity, notwithstanding that I may take unfamiliar forms. I may be quantized. 
I may have a continuous spectrum. Yes. Michael. Energy. Yes. They solved the riddle on the third clue, three points. We are a group of proteins. We are of interest in medicine because mutations in us can cause specific diseases. Our main function is to regulate genes in order to make sure that they are expressed in the right cell at the right time. We also make sure that the right amount of genes are maintained throughout the life of the cell and the organism. We can be thought of as the gatekeepers that determine if a gene is expressed or not. We are proteins involved in the process of converting or transcribing DNA into RNA. Yes, which of you? This mark. RNA polymerase. No. Who are we? Yes, Michael. Polymerase. No. Dion. Helper proteins. Pardon? Helper proteins. No. Asu. Asu, this one is for you. Where are the ASU members? Yes. Too bad. Anyone? The right answer is transcription factors. <laughs> Next one. a solid figure bounded by eight faces. I am, of course, an octahedron. I am composed of two hexagonal bases and six rectangular faces. I have 18 edges. You can say I'm a prism. To be precise, I'm a prism with a hexagonal base. Michael. Hexagonal prism. Yes. I read all the clues, three points. Last one. I exist in several forms. My colloidal form is man-made. When my molten form is poured in a thin stream into cold water, I take the form not far from that of high-density polyethylene. My most natural form is described as rhombic. Melt. Michael. So far. You're right.
at the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Wesley Girls High School has 26 points. Tepa Senior High School has 28 points. St. Peter's Senior High School has 48 points. Wesley Girls High School, thank you for being here. It was a pleasure having you. Unfortunately, we must say goodbye. But you are not going empty-handed. GCB Bank is, is giving you 1,040 Ghana CDs. Best wishes. Tepa Senior High School, thank you for being here. We must say goodbye as well. But you also have 1,120 Ghana CDs from GCB Bank. Best wishes to you. St. Peter's Senior High School. Congratulations on winning the contest. You have earned 1,920 Ghana CDs. But best of all, I look forward to seeing you at the grand finale. Congratulations. Viewers, thank you for joining us for this contest. Before we leave, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service with support from Goyal, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, GCB Bank, Vimto, Academic City College, Adansi Travels, Kenya Airways, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, GTP, FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences, Newmont Gold Cup Ghana, and enter varsity. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. This yes, it is. We have We have one more semi-final contest to go. Please make plans to join us next time when we bring you Keta Senior High Technical School, St. Augustine's College, and GSTS. Thank you for joining us this time. See you next time. Bye. There's always that one individual so selfless and caring. The world still has caring people. Getting unexpected help is a joy for us. That's why at Prudential Life, we've introduced Ultimate, the no-lapse guarantee on your premier and classic farewell plans. The biggest challenge for most clients having a funeral policy is the fact that when they are unable to pay premiums due to financial challenges, the policies elapse and the full benefit falls off. We have introduced the no-lapse guarantee on our funeral plans. This ensures that you don't lose your full benefit during challenging financial moments. Prudential always listening, always understanding. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. 
new Gold Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Nubes. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond the GCB Bank, your bank for life. An award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready. At Central University, we are not just given theoretical knowledge, but also real life practical immersion. Our projects and research are targeted at solving real life problems within our built and natural environment. My name is Che Joseph Bafo an architecture student. The faculty and facilities available to us make us industry ready. <laughs> the project I'm working on recently won an award when my colleagues and I visited the Netherlands. Central University makes you industry ready.